few years ago, I had some riders take my tour. They offered me some pointers and make my tour a little bit better. Uh, number one, they told me to always be myself, which isn't too hard. Uh, number two, they told me to pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> I'm not one to do that. I'm kind of a storyteller. I give a lot of information very quickly. If you guys miss something, stop me. Uh, the first hotel was built in 1888. This is actually the third Elms Hotel. First hotel burnt down due to a candle in our grand ballroom. Second hotel burnt down due to a malfunction with our boiler. This building has been here since 1912. The front foundation of the hotel is the only part of the original. The original ran length of the island in the center of the road to a circular fountain at the far end. When we go to the fifth floor next, you have a better view of that. Uh, over the years, we've had quite a few famous people here on property. Presidents Truman and Roosevelt. Uh, Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano training in our lap pool before the famous fights. Uh, we're spring training for the New York Giants for a time. Uh, we had Willie Nelson and Jamie Johnson here this past year, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also had Andrew Zimmer in here, the Bizarre Foods guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's stuff. Uh, he was out here filming a different show called Pioneer Foods. Uh, he's eating some kind of rabbit stew or something or other. Uh, we also had a movie film for not so long ago. Have you guys seen Superman Returns? Not so many people have. Uh, it wasn't too bad of a movie. I enjoyed it. Uh, critics didn't so much. Uh, but the young man that played Superman in the movie, his name was Brandon Routh. He was actually here filming a different movie. While they were here, it was very interesting seeing the movie making process. However, at one point, I witnessed a girl sitting on a bench out back, huge dress on, lights and cameras all on her for about 13 hours straight. Uh, the tile that you see in the lobby is hand laid from Italy as well as the marble staircase is Italian marble. Both are original from 1912. When I say hand laid, I mean each individual little tile piece. I believe it took them a year and a half to complete the floor. Uh, in 1931, four gunmen came in and tried to hold up the front desk. There was a shootout and a car chase all the way to Kansas City. One of the gunmen lost his life. Uh, these double doors inside the glass have been witnessed to fly wide open for no reason. The wind will pull on the outer doors a little bit. It does mess with the inner doors are pretty heavy. There's been a number of times where there have been two front desk people both witnessing the doors flying open and explain what they're seeing. Uh, the closest I've come was rounding the corner, hearing the double doors slam. It's a very distinct noise. Only to see nobody behind the glass, nobody entering the lobby. Uh, previous to the renovation we had six years ago, this was a lobby bar area in here. Four or five o'clock in the morning, I'd be up here having dinner with the night auditor. Back then, I was maintenance again. It was only me and him in the building all night. One evening, we heard an entire mountain of glass crash. It wasn't faint in the distance. It was very close, made us both jump. Sometimes in our banquet rooms, we have pyramid stacks of the glasses. So I checked every banquet room. I checked every pane of glass around the hotel. No glass broken anywhere. None was found the next week. This glass here tends to frost over on us now again in the summer uh, due to the AC up here. Uh, but one evening, we're sitting here on some couches for about a half an hour. We noticed a handprint and a child's handprint up here below it on the door. We didn't see anybody, let alone somebody and their child, seeing this house like 3.30 in the morning. So we were kind of laughing and joking about it. My friend went in to use the restroom. I decided to be a smart guy and write, get out backwards on the glass. <laughs> she came out, saw that, was like, oh, how funny. Well, what I had written on the glass was frosting back over almost immediately. Handprints ended up staying there till morning. Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one evening, I was standing next to the front desk there talking to the bartender and the night auditor. Out of the side of my eye, I saw head and shoulders coming down the stairs, rounding the banister to come down the marble. What drew my attention up there was that I actually heard the clothes moving. Uh, I want to say it was like nylon, but it was more like parachute pants. You guys remember those? Yeah. That's what it sounded like to me. I glanced up and disappeared. Nobody came down the stairs or went up. Since then, other maintenance men, housekeepers, and guests have been telling me stories. I've seen shadows flying all around the hotel. We actually had a guest catch a picture of one in the region ballroom. It was pretty interesting. Uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and go to the fifth floor where we'll continue. Uh, we won't all fit in the elevator at the same time. Once we get everybody up there, we'll start again. Feel free to take the stairs. If you do, you get stopped by a wooden door in front of the fourth floor elevator. I'll be right there to let you into the fifth floor. We'll see everybody upstairs.